If you want to succeed in any market, you have to compare. And when it comes to the bioinformatics market, we must compare in between clinical genomics or clinical bioinformatics and research bioinformatics or research genomics. So in today's video, we are not just going to compare, we are also going to tell you the future scope, the career growth and everything in between in these two fields and which one you should put in your money on, right? So to start with, what exactly it is, let's look at that. For people who have less than 15 seconds and they don't want to watch this video completely, here is the verdict. Clinical genomics is elephant and research genomics or research bioinformatics is a small ship. So basically, you will obviously side by the elephant. Hold on a second. This comparison which I'm going to tell you is going to make things very clear. You should go in what is your alignment with. So you should not go into clinical genomics if you are not aligned towards it. So we will be looking at that also. But yeah, the market size is always bigger for clinical genomics and clinical bioinformatics. But now the question is, what exactly are these two things, right? So definition says that clinical genomics is the application of genomic information to diagnose, treat and prevent diseases in a clinical setting. However, research genomics is study of genomes to understand the structure, function, evolution and interactions mainly in an academic or exploratory setting like a R&D lab. So mostly like CSIR labs, that's where the research genomics research bioinformatics is happening while clinical genomics is happening in hospitals. Now tell me how many CSIR labs are there? 20, 30, right? Or across the globe, maybe 500,000. But how many hospitals are there in the entire world? Like they might be 100,000 or a million hospitals, right? So imagine where there is a more demand. Obviously, clinical genomics, clinical bioinformatics. But hold on, I'll come to that later. Now, the, what is the goal of this, right? The goal of clinical genomics is to improve the patient outcome through personalized medicine. That's where, so the goal is to provide personalized medicine and that's why we are doing clinical genomics. But when it comes to research genomics, basically we are doing it to generate new knowledge, new data about genes and biology and it is more of exploratory, right? Mostly hospitals, diagnostic labs, genetic counseling centers are the customers for clinical genomics, while universities, biotech research labs, research companies, biotech companies, research institutes are the customers for research bioinformatics. Now, focused on inpatient data, the uh, clinical genomics is completely focused on patient data, a clinical interpretation of the patient data and actionable variants. Like It's just like a diagnostic lab. But uh, the research genomics is population level studies, discovery research and bioinformatics heavy research. Okay, And mostly both the places, the tools will be similar. Okay, So uh, in clinical genomics, we are using NGS, clinical exome genome sequencing, pharmacogenomics tools. While in research genomics, we are doing WGS, WES, GWAS, transcriptomics, epigenomics, and CRISPR. Now, when it comes to clinical genomics, there are more stringent laws, like there is more strict regulatory requirements like CLIA, CAP, ICMR, HIPA. While in research setting, there is no such rules and the you know, uh, rules are flexible and governed by research ethics mainly. Okay. Basically, while there is too much scope in clinical genomics, there is too much laws and compliance also required in clinical gen genomics, including patient data confidentiality. But when it comes to research genomics, it is not much. Uh, uh, it's more or less of a research ethics, right? Now, the question is, which one should you choose, right? You should choose something which you are passionate about. So if you are someone who likes working in a 9 to 5 job, you go to office or go to the lab, you work and come back. So you should choose clinical genomics. But if you are someone who likes to, you know, go in a lab, explore data, do something new and uh, you want to become a research scientist, you should go into the research bioinformatics area. Now, in clinical genomics, mostly the best combination will be somebody who has a good understanding of human genetics and then a very good uh, grip on the bioinformatics part. So you will get jobs like clinical geneticist, genetic counselor, clinical bioinformatician, lab director, genomic variant analyst, uh, medical science liaison. In research genomics, you will get jobs like genomic scientist, principal investigator, postdoctoral researcher, bioinformatics analyst, research associate, data science in genomics, all these kind of jobs you'll get in research genomics. The question is, which is which has got more scope? Like I told you earlier, there's a lot of 
potential in clinical genomics to to be very frank i compared to different companies recently and i found out that one of these companies is growing at 30% or 40% growth rate while the other one is older but still growing at 10% growth rate because the older guy is in uh, research uh, genomics and the new guy is in clinical genomics so if we compare the market now so the market right now for clinical genomics is somewhere around 20 to 30 billion when it comes to research genomics it is only 10 to 15 billion now at what rate it is growing if we look at clinical genomics it is growing at 20% cagr while research genomics is growing only at 10 to 12% cagr okay and there is third set subset also which is called as agri genomics and that is even smaller 5 to 7 billion dollars and it is also growing at 8 to 10% so now what is the reason that clinical re uh, genomics is growing one reason i told you is of course lot of hospitals but another reason, reason is there is lot of high healthcare spending happening for cancer for rare diseases prenatal screening and personalized medicine the second reason is because there is too much of there is a frequency of orders okay so any company grows when there is the orders are coming pretty quickly and that's where if we look at uh, clinical genomics we are seeing more frequent orders governed bag population genomics projects are there like genome india projects 100k genome in the uk and there is a rising adoption for genetic testing in hospitals and diagnostic labs moving forward what we are seeing pharmaceutical companies are also integrating companion diagnostics into drug development now having said that obviously clinical genomics is growing now irrespective of whether going to clinical genomics or research genomics you are going to grow but clinical genomics will be a fixed job it will be no exploratory job it will be like you go to a lab you samples come in you finish and send back right but in research genomics you have exploration right so if you are someone who likes doing new things you should go there but yes growth and money and salary will grow in clinical genomics so you have to make a choice here right exploration versus money right let me know in the comment section what you will choose if i was you i would have chosen uh, you know research genomics but anyways that's um, up to you to decide now the question is what is going to happen in smaller countries like india africa you know Uh, developing countries and um, underdeveloped countries so we we'll we're going to see that there will be an increasing awareness of genetic disorders earlier it was not there like people will have genetic disorders they will know how to treat but now the awareness is there thanks to internet and now the co cost of testing is also reducing whole genome sequencing costs have has reduced a lot and that means Uh, we are we will be able to deliver better now uh, genome sequencing cost only 10000 rupees what used to cost 1 lakh rupees right and also the health insurance coverage is expanding in these countries like india and bangladesh or nepal or um, you know sri lanka and various other uh, nearby countries and china and all these so the health insurance coverage is increasing and they are including these tests in those health insurance coverage and that's why the orders are going to be frequent the clinical genomics will grow faster than research genomics now the question to be asked is what if you want to do both is it possible answer is yes but for that you to first go into research genomics spend some time there five seven years so that you have quenched your research enthusiasm and then you can join companies like medgenome lucidita and where you can do all these kind of work right now my verdict will obviously be towards clinical genomics that it will grow it will give you more money it will uh, have better prospects and that's one of the reason bioinformatics is growing in our country right and if you want to learn bioinformatics if you want to get into clinical genomics or um, you know research genomics you can do a internship at biotechnica get hands on experience get, do a, do do a project with us publish papers and then you can easily get into clinical genomics because in clinical genomics you don't really don't need a degree in bioinformatics you just need to know how to do things and that's where uh, biotechnica can help okay now what will be the scope in the future now we are going to see more personalized medicine happening we'll see cancer diagnostics exploding we are already seeing rare disease diagnosis exploding we are seeing prenatal and newborn screening now down syndrome is a mandatory uh, you know uh, analysis then we will see pharmacogenomics happening carrier screening happening genetic testing companies such as uh, map my genome invite strand life sciences medgenome jubilant are already into this now research genomics will also grow it's not that it will not grow but of course at a slower rate you will see agri genomics growing evolutionary biology human genome project functional genomics 
microbial genomics, CRISPR and gene editing based genomics and various academic institution, government labs and biotech R&D firms will be placing orders. Now, if I have to look at the growth potential, clinical genomics is very, very, very high. Okay, it will be like as good as the IT industry, while research genomics will be lower. The funding will obviously be higher in the clinical genomics, while in research genomics it will be lower. Technology trend will be almost similar, but of course AI will come into both. And India's landscape is going to rapidly grow and that means there will be a huge demand and already there is a huge demand for bioinformatics in clinical setting as well as research setting. Now, final verdict for all of you, if you are patient-centric, if you enjoy working in a fixed work, diagnostic, clinical applications, go for clinical genomics. If you like exploration, innovation, long-term discovery, go for research genomics. If you like working in a regulated environment and direct health impact, then go for clinical genomics. If you like that freedom of experimentation and publishing, then go for research genomics. Both the pathways are good. Both the pathways will get you money, just that the research genomics will take a little longer than the clinical genomics side. Okay? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if in case you are interested in enrolling in our bioinformatics internship, it is starting from 30th of June. Details in the description. Check it out and we will help you. All the best.